coronavirus left a $54 billion hole in the state's budget, forcing Governor Newsom to make some drastic cuts, and that includes the paychecks of state workers. This week, California's largest state workers union accepted a pay cut deal with the governor. KCRE 3 Stephanie Lynn breaks down the details. If you don't know by now, we did come to an agreement with the state. Coronavirus burning a hole in the pocketbooks of more state workers tonight, with thousands forced to take pay cuts following negotiations with the governor's bargaining team. I know that we were all devastated when the governor put in his May revised budget that he wanted 10% from employee compensation. California's largest state workers union, SEIU Local 1000, ultimately agreeing to a roughly 9% pay cut, equating to two furlough days per month for two years. Any previously negotiated raises also now delayed. It's not surprising at all that Gavin Newsom is pursuing these furlough agreements with the different labor groups. Political analysts saying governors historically used furloughs to effectively save money for the state. It's really a relatively quick way to save money, much quicker than to try and pursue layoffs, which can take a very long time to achieve. Former Governor Schwarzenegger ordered furloughs during the 2008 financial crisis. Back then, Schwarzenegger forced the furloughs on the state workers. They did not agree to it. In fact, SEIU Local 1000 went to court to try and, uh, and fight it and they lost in court, they lost the legal battle. It was just a very different set of political dynamics. Schwarzenegger as a Republican governor did not have warm relationships with labor unions. Gavin Newsom as a Democrat obviously does have pretty good relationships with the labor unions. And so that's why it's been so much easier this time around to pursue this. SEIU Local 1000 planning to soften the financial blow this time around by reducing the amount members contribute to their health plans. Seasonal and temporary workers or those ineligible for health care from the state will not have to take furlough days. While we were able to mitigate the impact, you know, of this economic hardship, our fight is not over. Coronavirus crippling their finances, but not their will to negotiate. And an SEIU Local 1000 spokesperson adds the deal goes into effect on July 1st. Reporting from the Capitol, Stephanie Lynn, KCRA 3 News. And the governor hopes to have the budget in writing by early next week.